Yeah, we're going to be sure to judge. You got, got you. The, yeah, you got me? I got you. Okay, all right. Yeah, I have, it's because of the pandemic. I haven't performed in some time. I think I did once when I was in Ghana, but yeah, it, twice. I did twice. Anyway, um, this is called I'm Okay With That. I grew up on hula hoops and jump ropes. Hopscotch outlines in my grandmama's driveway, street light alarm clocks, mulberry bushes in the alley. They were our after school snacks. Potato chips with hot sauce, syrup sandwiches, kicks and Cheerios, blue charm suckers from F and L's. That was Mr. Westbrook's store. It was black owned and he had chocolate coins and real ones. Pickled pig's feet on the counter and old pickle jars and grandmama had me bring her one every Saturday. We watched the Lone Ranger with Pops on Sundays and ironed our school clothes with crisp creases because we were representing the family and we had to be clean. No matter, we had drunks on the corners mumbling about Big, big Brother, who wasn't really a brother, but formed white rocks that broke neighborhoods block by block. Big Brother drove that black and white Ford topped with cherries and berries on the prowl for rotten apples, and we always seemed to fit the description, young, black, and gifted. Melanated meant criminally inclined and fine all the same time. I love them brothers though, regardless. I came of age in knit leggings and big teased hair. Computers peeking over the horizon with CDs and beepers. Drug dealers and pimps were uncles and cousins and they drove Bonneville's Cadillacs LTDs with rag tops and Buick Electra 225s, <laughs> just like my daddy. My daddy owned his own business too. He was a boss and we didn't know no different. Family was family, including folks that didn't have family. Come get you a plate. Better clean your plate, because there's kids starving in Africa. I graduated knowing my blackness was a gift, just like raindrops in the summertime and the sway of my auntie's hips. It was cool. It made me strong. My grandmother, tough as beef jerky and concrete, coated in bronze, taught me to hold my head up, walk with my shoulder square, look folks in the eye, and don't take no mess. Call spades spades and th be thankful for your blessings, because this life ain't yours. Take your place in the kingdom among the ancestors in this city named from natives. We stay in our places because that's what we were taught. Hellfire on the other side of 72nd Street and ain't no hair, grease, skins, paintings of Jesus with locks though. <laughs> and we were okay with that. <laughs> Give it up one.